Hi guys, today I want to show you an ultra easy but effective method for abstract digital art. I'm gonna show you how to create cool edits with just basic knowledge of blending modes, color grading and masking. I use this technique quite a lot for fun edits in between. The whole thing is just playing around with shapes. There are no rules, just happy little accidents. All right, Bob, and here we go. Let's just start outer space. I just darkened the image with curves and went on with an image of a nebula galaxy. Here we start the blending journey with the blending mode hard light. Afterwards, I created a mask and used a large soft round brush to blend the two images together. Same thing with the next image of a nebula galaxy. I went with the blending mode overlay, but you can take every blending mode you like. It's just try and like or test and dump. Then I went on with a bit of coloring. There is no right or wrong, just a matter of your own taste. Next image is the pyramid of Chichen Itza. You can use whatever shape you want, it's really just playing around with shapes and blending. Later on I got rid of the pyramid and took something different. That's just part of the game. Right there was the only cutout where I adapted actually an automatic cutout. But you also can use a brush to blend it in without taking care of the edges. We don't need it in this image as you will see in a moment. Oh, by the way, the pyramid also got the blending mode hard light. I wanted to give the edit some kind of framing. Also here I made it easy for myself and took a blending mode. Guess what? It's hard light again! After adjusting the colors I made a mask and painted away the middle with a fog brush. The fog brush works great together with the nebula galaxy. The next part is not really necessary, but for me it was the little something I wanted to have in the end. I roughly painted on the tunnel to feature its shape a bit more. Nothing special, I just picked the colors from the surrounding. It's a bit of a blasphemy to call that painting. Anyway, there are no rules, just happy little accidents. Yep, Bob Ross quote, go for it. Well, then I changed my mind and got rid of the pyramid, because it didn't match well with the city. I tried that off camera. The city got the blending mode overlay and as you can see here I didn't cut out anything. I just used a large and soft round brush and painted something away, leaving the sky as kind of a halo. If it works, it ain't stupid. The same procedure with a shot from Stonehenge. In the end I brushed away a bit of the nebula galaxy and that's actually it. For color grading I took the easy road as well and used Color Effects Pro, Analog Effects Pro combined with a little camera roll adjustment. Here we go, these are the settings. And now, here is the final result. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's it for today. I wish you a good one and goodbye.